Good morning. So, I don't know what to eat for lunch. Yeah, I don't know. I had weird dreams last night. There's a staple gun and there's like some crazy guy trying to kill people with a staple gun. Yeah, not fun. Yeah, so I have class at 12.30 so I have to eat a good lunch because I have classes from 12.30 to 5.30 so. But I don't know what I want. I don't really want to make anything. Too lazy and there's not enough time. Also, I need to clean my room. Also, I'm kind of cold. Eh, life is all good. You'll see. It's all good. Okay, so my day just went from 0 to 100 real quick. Well, I don't know, 0 is kind of negative. I would say more like a, a 57 to 100 real quick. Because on Tuesdays, you can go downstairs to the lobby and buy pre-cooked chicken. And like, I was just thinking, oh, I don't really have time for supper tonight. I'm hungry. I don't know what I'm going to have. I don't know what to eat. I have to work on homework, so I can't really cook. But look, for $8, you get this delicious box. You get a bun, you get some chicken, you get french fries and sauce, and it's cooked, and it's a meal. Oh, life is good. Life is very, very good. I am ready to dig in and watch some friends. Oh, even utensils. I won't even have to reuse a dirty fork. This is so wonderful. So Sarah came over and we did a bit of homework. I had a yummy chicken supper. Now I'm going to shower, maybe call a friend, then hit the hay. Hey! So it feels weird that I'm saying that for the first time today at like 8.30. But it's been a crazy, crazy, crazy busy day. I woke up, ran to tutoring, Went to tutoring, got a lot of work done. It's nice, even if I don't need direct help, being somewhere where other people are working really motivates you to study. Then we went to drama class. We had to bring an object that represented our characters that we made up last week. So my friend suggested that I bring socks because my character was a monster. So he was like the monster under the bed and he stole the socks. So clever, love my friend for suggesting that. Yeah, and then uh, the rest of the class we made skits with our characters we made up last week. We would like play hot seat and like one of the characters would sit in a chair and we'd all ask them questions and then we made new skits. So we're really developing our characters. After that, my friends and I went to, I think it was called La Budo Post. It's this little restaurant and my dear goodness, you can get a meal for $5. Everything on the menu is $5. It's a bar, so I guess they expect people to drink, and that's probably why their food's so cheap. But I had very yummy quesadillas, and my friends had burgers. And I definitely want to go back there because I can afford it, so it's really awesome for that. Then I came home. I ran to yoga. Um, I love running, so I enjoyed that. Yoga really relaxed me. We did yin yoga, which I think I really like. And in the future, I'm going to try and sign up for yin yoga because it's more relaxing. You just hold poses and you can really feel the stretch, but they're just the right amount of stretch. It's really relaxing, more relaxing than yoga relaxation because you you're still doing stuff, you know, and you're holding and you're stretching and it's creative poses. Then I came home, I corrected my friend's um, essay, she's taking a French class um, back home. I was surprised by um, how much I've learned in my university experience just being able to like correct someone else's work. Then I ran to a tutoring session tonight for a project we have that's due in our literature class next Tuesday. So now that's done and I can have fun this weekend, which is good. And uh, yeah, so that's been today, a crazy, crazy busy Wednesday, and tomorrow will be crazy, then I'm off again. Oh, I love three-day weeks. I highly recommend three-day weeks. I have ten minutes for lunch. I was going to make a sandwich, but I don't know. I don't know. Do I have time? I'll make time, because I love lunch. Well, let's not get carried away. Hmm. Today in art class, we all brought, like, fruits and branches, and then we drew them. So I'll show you my drawing, and uh, when you see the actual thing, it probably makes a lot more sense, but I'm proud of it. Um, the main thing she said was to just go with it, so, you know, don't think about it too much. It's something, if you knew what it actually was, you'd probably understand it more, but like, I'm, I'm starting to shade and stuff, so I'm definitely improving, and it was so relaxing, that's the one thing. Art really helps me to relax, so I appreciate that at least, if nothing else. Hey, so I was gonna go buy muffins from Superstore, otherwise known as Provigo here, 
But Zumba class killed me, and now I don't have the energy. So I guess, you know, it helps you lose weight in more than one way. <laughs> First of all, exercise. Second of all, I won't be getting those muffins. But yeah. Class was good, and this afternoon, a psychologist came and talked to us about stress and anxiety. And I related to a lot of it, so that was interesting. Yeah. Then I got my forms back from the registrar's office because they said they were going to email, didn't email. Waited there half an hour for a woman to hand me an envelope. They should have like an express lane. But it was all good because one of my friends came in and her and I chatted. Yeah, and that's been today. Zumba was fun but tiring and yeah. Hey, so it's time for my weekly grocery haul. Really exciting item this week. These are my favorite lint candies. They're the ones filled with coconut. I usually don't buy them because they're usually $7. But they were on sale half price because they expire this month. Don't gotta worry about that. But even, even if they were expired, it's just chocolate. So as long as it's not too long. I got buns for my sandwiches. Lasagna. Munchies. Okay, I blame my best friend for these. Also, I got party size because it was the only size they had. So, okay, okay. My best friend Janessa mentioned munchies and they've been the only thing on my mind lately. Got some shepherd's pie for tonight. Some maple mac and cheese. Ooh, maybe I'll have that actually. Some potatoes because I really enjoyed that bacon cheese dish I made the other day. And then berries were two for five. So I got blueberries and strawberries to even out the lunches. Sarah is trying to take a picture of a black squirrel, but they keep running away from her. There's a red killer squirrel in the video, but everybody already has seen them. Look how pretty it is. Why is it airy there you are? Probably because copyright. Uh, true. <laughs> Spirit research. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, because Area 51 is um, aliens. Aliens. So Area 31 is Spirit Research Facility. Oh, Spirit, like the Halloween store. Yeah. I'm caught up. Ooh, yeah. that looks scary. It's kind of cool. Interesting. Enter at your own risk. That would be cool to have in your house if you had lots of money. Costume and mini boots. Food time! We've been window shopping and we'll probably window shop some more. We had food so now we're ready for it because we're both getting hungry. Yeah, hopefully find something cheap and maybe actually buy something. Probably not. Worth a shot. I need that one. Going up on a Friday. Friday. So Sarah and I went to a new mall today, it was the Fleur de Lis Mall. Very interesting, um, except they were taking blood donations in the middle of the mall? So I almost passed out and threw up. Anyways, we went to A&W, had a good little lunch, then we went to the mall next to our residence and um, they gave me this really nice bag at this really expensive store. They had a sale and I got this shirt for 10 bucks, regular 50. So like, whew, right? Uh, then we came home, Sarah showed me some funny videos and it's been a good day. <laughs> 